Hey all, welcome to MahindraGuru.com and you are watching our most famous series of expected questions, where today's topic is memory. So, which type of questions are asked in the examination related to the memory? We are here to tell you about all those set of questions. Before moving forward, do not forget to subscribe your YouTube channel that is www.youtube.com forward slash c forward slash Mahindra Guru videos. So, let us look in the question number 1. Question number 1 says, which of the following is smallest memory unit? Means, among these options, which is the smallest memory unit? Have think, just think about what is that answer, which shows the smallest memory unit. Just look in the following options first. The option says, the first one is byte, kilobyte, bit, megabyte or none of these, smallest memory unit. Is it kb, kilobyte? Is it megabyte? Is it byte? What is it? The smallest memory unit in computer, which denotes by 0 or 1. So, that is bit. Bit is the most smallest unit in computer. So, the right answer is the third one that is bit. Let us check the answer first. Yes, this is the right answer, bit is the right answer. Next question, question number 2 says, how many bits in one byte? Means, one byte consists of how many bits? Is it 16? Is it 8? Is it 4? What is the right answer? Let us check the options first. The first option says 10, second says 21, next 8, 5, none of these. What is the right answer? One byte denotes, think, one byte is equals to dash bit. Yes, you are right. The answer is 8, means the option number 3 is the right answer. So, the answer of this question is, 8 bits are there in 1 byte. Let us check the answer first. Here is the answer which shows this particular number that means 1 bit and the combination of 8 bit that is called 1 byte. Next question. Next question says, bit stands for means you have to tell what is the full form of bit. Guess, bit that is the most smallest unit, that is the most smallest memory unit. So, what bit stands for? Check options first, the options are binary number, binary digit, binary input terminal, BIOS terminal or none of these. Yes, you are right, bit stands for binary digit. So, it means the right answer is the second one, binary digit, that is the full form of bit. Check, this is the right answer. Yes, this is a beautiful image in front of you, which shows 0 or 1 and that is bit. Next question, question number 4. Question number 4 says, one nibble contain dash bits means you have to tell one nibble is equals to how many bit? Is it 4 bit? Is it 8 bit? Is it 16 bit? How many bits? The options are 8, 3, 1, 4 or none of these. One nibble that is the combination of 4 bits. So, it means the option number 4 is the right answer. Okay. So, let us check, is, is this a right answer? Yes, as this figure shows, bit that contains a single character, a single digit, it is the combination of foo that is called nibble and byte is the combination of 8. Let us check the next question. The next question says, in which data will be erased? when 
power supply is switched off means when power supply is off or your system is being shut down then your data is saved or not saved the answer is when you shut down your system then somehow your data is saved it is saved in the hard disk is it but when you shut down your system without saving your data then what happens the answer is your data is lost so the question says in which data will be erased when power supply is switched off what is that memory is it ram is it rom is it ep rom let's check the options first first ram rom p rom ep rom none of these so ram is the right answer because ram that stands for random access memory is a memory which is temporary that is also called as volatile memory and in this memory the data is saved for a temporarily time period check the answer first yes this is the right answer here is a ram in front of you so this is called the right answer next question before moving towards the next question let's have a look what is all about memory is how many types of memory are there you are very easily getting from here so what is memory you have memory you have very very good memory so what is basically memory in the point of view of computer computer have a memory where it keeps data and information it's somehow being a temporary is it somehow being a permanent so with the help of this graph it shows clearly that there are two types of memory primary and secondary primary contains ram cache and rom whereas secondary contains magnetic disk which includes hard disk and floppy disk optical disk which contains cd dvd brd magnetic tape which contains tape drive flash memory which contains memory card and pen drive so i hope ki you learn about what type of memories are there moving towards the next question of this session next question says memory which is closest to cpu is called means there are so many types of memory is it ram rom and so on so you have to name among those memories which type of memory is closest to the cpu think check the options first ram rom virtual memory cache memory or none of these so which type of category which type of memory sorry is just closest to the cpu yes i know you know what is the right answer this is the fastest memory too this is the clue of this answer any guesses yes cache memory is that memory which is closest to the cpu so the right answer is our option number 4 that is cache memory check the answer yes cache memory is the right answer which relies between the cpu and the main memory next question question number 7 which of the following is largest memory unit largest memory unit in question number 1 the question is which is the smallest memory unit and the answer is bit which stands for binary digit here the question is which is the largest memory unit but it may be any memory but you have to give the answer among the options available to you in the examination and here the options are kb that is kilobyte tb that is terabyte mb that is megabyte gb that is gigabyte or byte so which is the largest memory unit yes according to the option the right answer is no you have to think that gb is the right answer it may be but there is one more option in front of you that is tb so tb is the right answer but in case if tb is not given then the right answer is gb right 
check the answer first, terabyte is the right answer. Next question. Next question says, which RAM needs refreshing? Means, you have to name that RAM, which required refreshing. Which type of RAM is this? This question itself says, there are so many types of RAM. It is SRAM, static RAM, it is DRAM, dynamic RAM and SDRAM. So, which type of RAM comes under the category that it needs to be refreshed? The options are SRAM the first, DRAM the second, FPM all of these or none of these. Yes, refreshing means changing, changing itself, it means dynamic. So, the answer is DRAM is that type of RAM, which needs to be refreshed itself and it too loses, too loses some amount of data after a frequent interval of time. Let us check the answer first. Yes, this is the right answer, means DRAM. So, what is about the next question? The next question says, which one is not wrong? means here are the some here are some options to be given and you have to choose the right answer which type of memory not comes under the category of rom means read only memory the options are ep rom yes this is a type of a rom ep rom stands for erasable programmable read only memory p rom again comes under the category of rom and that is programmable read only memory EEP ROM that is electrically erasable programmable read only memory or sometimes called as ultraviolet ROM. So, what is that? Yes, FPM is not a type of ROM, check the answer. So, FPM is not comes under the category of a ROM. Moving towards the next question and last question of this session, the last question says a dash represent approximately 1 billion memory location. Must concentrate about this that represent approximately 1 billion, 1 billion. Let us check the options. Is it 1 kilobyte which represents 1 billion? Is it 1 megabyte that represents approximately a billion? or it may be a gigabyte or a terabyte or none of these. What is the right answer? Here the right answer is GB means gigabyte. A gigabyte represents approximately 1 billion memory location. But what if the question is 1 trillion? If in question is 1 trillion, then always the answer is terabyte in trillion the answer is terabyte, in million, in case of million the answer is megabyte, but here in the question there is billion. So, answer is GB. Let us check is this a right answer? Yes, this is GB. So, you learn about what is memory, what are the questions that are being asked in the examination related to this chapter. So, about the memory unit, when we are talking about memory unit, it is very important to know about what is the right sequence, what is the right series of that memory units. Just go through it. The first, in the very first, it shows first bit, that is the smallest two. After bit, it comes nibble then byte, then KB, kilobyte, then MB, GB, TB, PB, EB and last one is ZB. Just save this figure and do recall it time to time. With this, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then do not forget to subscribe in our YouTube channel. Do not forget to like us in Facebook. Do not forget to follow us in Instagram too and we are available in Mahindra Guru app with the name of MG app. So, that is all for today. I believe 
in your success because your success is our success thank you